Sometimes we get excited. Sometimes we get nervous, but we're always fascinated when the crew from Wildlife Encounters enters the studio. So you can just imagine how kids feel when they get to learn about animals up close at their school or at an event. Sometimes too close right here, as you'll <laughs> see. Our education continues now. Kip Smith from Wildlife Encounters. Good to see you, Kip. Good to see you guys, too. Hey, you brought in my favorite. You know, you know I don't like snakes. You don't like snakes. <laughs> so so Kip starts with snakes. He brings in a snake first off the bat. What is this? Uh, this is a corn snake. Is it an albino can I touch it? Snake? Oh yeah, you can pet him for sure. His name's Radar. Hi, Radar. Uh, Radar actually came from a vet tech program that was closing down. Uh, did we just got him this week, so we're taking him out, kind of. Are seeing. these rare, the albinos? Or not, not too rare. No, no you see these. Uh, we see corn snakes all over the United States. We even have some here in Nebraska. Do we have That's albino not, corn snakes in uh, Nebraska? You probably won't see an albino in the wild. They don't have camouflage. Oh, okay. So an albino snake like this, if it's slithering through the grass, a predator like an owl or a hawk will see it, pick it up, and try to eat it. I feel like we should be the king of corn snakes in Nebraska, right? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> we should. I mean, yeah. We should have these things all over the place. Yeah, they get that name. Uh, if you look at the bottom of him, his scales kind of look like corn. So that's why they mm -hmm. call them corn snakes. Oh, they do. It is this like a it. dangerous animal? No, not dangerous at all. Uh, sometimes people think they're dangerous, though. If these animals get scared, they rattle their tail like a rattlesnake. Do so they people really? mistake them for rattlesnakes. Uh -huh. We don't want to scare try that it. thing. Yeah. We don't want to <laughs> yeah. try that out. We know they're, they're not venomous. They have sharp teeth, but it's not going to do anything to you. If one bit you, if you just bleed a little tiny bit. It'd be like getting a shot. Okay, yeah, it's tail, not I mean, look all. at the, the tip of the tail. It's a, even a strong muscle, like the tip. Yeah, he's just a constrictor. And... So he, he bites his food, wraps around it, squeezes it, and then swallows it completely whole. That's amazing. Does he eat rodents or? Yep, yeah, this guy's gonna eat mice. Uh, but in the wild, you know, they eat frogs, toads, things like that as well. How long will he live for? This guy is, he's in his late teens. They said mm -hmm. maybe even 20. Uh, so we'll see maybe 23, 25 years for these so animals. He's, he's getting up there in his age. Yeah, yeah, he's older yeah, he's for a sure. Senior citizen. Senior, yeah. What, what else do we, got? Do we bring in? Oh, we got one more. We'll take this guy. Off, but we're having a little demonstration for you guys. I'm gonna have you hold this piece. Okay. And then us, okay. That's I yours. get the small one. You get the small one. Yeah. <laughs> I <laughs> like my this. eyes here. Oh my tell. goodness! Good. Look at this thing. Good. Holy Great. Moly. Look at his jaw. Look at his mouth. Should we be frightened right now? No, no. You're totally safe. Is he just safe. hungry? Why is he doing that? Uh, this is what they do in the wild. He sits. This is how he hunts. He sits and he waits at the bottom of the river. He just waits for food to fall in his mouth. Yeah. Or he does. Well, if you look, I can point towards the camera. If you look at that little pink thing in his mouth, yeah. uh -huh. that's a part of his tongue. Wow. So it's a little fishing lure. He sits, he moves that around just like he's moving right there. Very a fish cool. He's slobbering all over our fish. table. <laughs> that's just water. He's transporting water. <laughs> so a fish swims in his mouth, he bites it, and he eats it. And they swim incredibly fast. No you can hold that celery straight hold in front of you, up. Kayla. We can show you how he bites. Uh, we'll, I'll just gently... Oh my God! Oh, wow! <laughs> Holy cow! Attack of the killer! Yeah, turtle. isn't that crazy fast? Wait Are a minute. You... Hold on. Let me see this. Okay. Look at the size of her. <laughs> look at the size of her celery, and look at the size of my celery. Do you really what want Mike to do it? Yeah, right? we're gonna have you do it. Look at this. We're gonna see Are how to... we're gonna see how close look, we can we're get. We're gonna you see are... how brave Mike is. You're not coming back on the show either. <laughs> I'm just. I'm oh not gonna do Lord. that to you. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna do it. You're no, crazy. I'm not gonna do that. Oh, let's do that again. Oh yeah, we can do it again. Yep. Just hold your hands straight out. We'll hold them out. My hand's shaking. Oh, oh, good job, buddy. <laughs> See, there we go. Now he's got some. Well, yeah. Let's let him eat it. Yeah, I feel bad if we just tease him like this. Um, right. Turtles live a long time. Yes, yeah, we'll see this guy live about 75 years. <laughs> and how old is he now? Uh, this guy is, I think he's in his teens. How heavy is he? Uh, he's not too heavy, probably like 30 pounds. He'll get yeah. to be 200 pounds. You could do so some he's small. With that. He's yeah. going to get a lot bigger than this. And this was a kid's pet, actually, in Gretna, where Wildlife mm -hmm. Encounters is located. Uh, they don't typically make good pets. You know, they can bite you pretty oh, hard. Yeah, they, look oh. pretty, <laughs> they, they can be vicious. Kid took really good care of him. Yeah. He uh, likes reptiles a lot. Uh -huh. We have an alligator as a pet too, so we have his alligator as well. Okay, what else are you bringing? Um, yeah, I see we'll something furry I'm over there. I'm excited for this one. We've got one of the cute critters coming up. Yeah, this guy's a little cuter than the snapping turtle. <laughs> now, what is this? <laughs> this is kiwi. Uh, kiwi is a baby kinkajou. She's uh -huh. about four or five months old. And you can hold her for. Oh Where yeah, kinkajous for sure. come from? Australia. Kinkajous, South and Central America. South and Central. Yep, and you even see them in Southern Mexico you too. Hold They're her, a rainforest uh, animal. Mike? And yeah. you can, yeah. yeah, you can feed her if you want to. Any, She's a little calmer any recommendation than the lemur. How to feed this thing? I don't want to get my <laughs> don't yeah, last hand off. over it. Last time with the lemur, just just hand it to her. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, she might not be interested in food. She's just checking stuff she, out yeah, right she, now. She, no, she has sweetie. a really good sense of smell. Oh, so sure. she's going to be smelling you guys, checking everything out. She'll climb on your shoulders. They have a really oh, long tongue she, though, so she may try to lick your ear. She'll give you a wet willy. She's <laughs> very gentle. <laughs> she she is. Yeah, she grabs that apple. 
Um, I'm yeah, distracted I, by how adorable she is. Did you they, say how old she is? She's about four or five months old. Okay. Yeah, they're wow. super cute animals. Not good pets. Uh, I know she looks cute and nice here, but she's they're really cute. loud. Well, they sound like a bird. Hands. And yeah, I babysat her at my my home for a week, and it drove me crazy. <laughs> uh, what they, yeah. what yeah, kind they're of they're noise? How noise. does it sound? It's not. I don't know how to make the noise. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to put you on the spot. It sounds like a bird. They squeak really, really loud. Uh, yeah. You can't really house train these animals. Oh, they just kind of go to the bathroom wherever. They go everywhere. And, oh yeah, so it wouldn't be fun to have in your home. Um, <laughs> how did you acquire her, and how do you acquire many of the animals that you do get? Uh, the snapping turtle was someone's pet. Corn snake came from a veterinary tech program. Uh -huh. uh, this guy, someone actually had the parents. They had a male and female, and they weren't spayed or neutered. So then she's the result of that. Oh, wow. <laughs> and We've our next it. one actually came from a uh, rural bird sanctuary in Missouri. Uh, they're a sanctuary for all different types of birds. I didn't even know. I thought this was the last one. I didn't know you are Oh, no, we got else. one more. If we, okay, let's bring yeah. 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 Can I keep holding her? Is that okay? Let's or should get, we let's need to get this one out? Yeah, yeah, we, we don't want the fight. bird to see this one. <laughs> the Hi, next, sweetie. The Hi, next Kiwi. one eats animals like this. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Look at her eyeball. She's eyeballing that kinkajou. This is Iago. Iago is a Eurasian eagle owl. These are the largest, one of the largest owls in the world. No kidding. Yeah. Where are they from? We're going to find this guy in Europe and also Africa. How'd they so end up in, how did and how'd you guys end up with it? Uh, he was born at Real Bird Sanctuary. Uh, he's about 20 years old, uh, so he was hatched from an egg actually at that sanctuary. Well, look how beautiful so that owl they look are, they're it. just Its head just spins on a the swivel. They do, and it's really cool. They have to spin that, move their head all, almost all the way around because they have fixed eyes. They cannot move their eyeballs. So he has to move his head in order to be able to see. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> <laughs> and, Oh, yeah. I was just going to say, we have less than a minute left, but we oh, want to yeah. make sure and talk about your mission as far as education goes. Why it's important for you guys to bring these animals out and teach people about them. Um, you see, with kids a lot now, you know, it's kind of easy to get distracted. So we're trying to get people back right. in, interested in animals, conservation. And it's really important today. Uh, we see, you know, animals are disappearing really, really rapidly. So trying to spark an interest with kids, revisit kids at schools, talking about conservation, animals, and things like that. And these are all animal and, ambassadors you take into the yep, schools? Yep, and, and these are all yep animal ambassadors we take to schools. A lot of the animals we get come from their zoos, refuges, some people, pets, some animals like the tortoise we found here was found here in Nebraska roaming around, non-native species that are here yeah. in Nebraska. Well, we've got your information <laughs> up on the screen. Who should yeah. contact you? I mean, if, if, if schools oh. want demonstrations with these animals, or what do you yeah, want to do? Yeah, uh, if anyone wants to learn about animals, give us a call. And quick shout out, you guys are taking part in Omaha Gives, so yeah, one of the organizations you can support as well. Thank you so much for yeah, coming in and bringing all the cool guys. critters. Yeah. yeah, thanks for coming. Yeah, thanks Man. for having us. Bye, Iago. Thanks for the small piece of celery. <laughs> that was good. Dirty. That was good. <laughs> yeah, today on social media, we've got this. So we're, we're talking about a lot of things on social media, especially Omaha Gives, like we talked about here with Wildlife Encounters. We want to know if you're taking part. Which organization, which organizations are you supporting? Give them a shout out on our Facebook page. Up next, why do kids love swimming lessons at Dive Ventures? We'll learn what sets their team of instructors apart. Yeah, then at 926, gifts for grads from jewelry to tech. How you can get them ready for the next step in their lives. We'll bling it on with Saul's Jewelry and Loan.